Welcome everyone. My name is Paula Phillips, also known as Journal Artista. And uh, today we're working outside, so if you hear any random noise, birds chirping, dogs barking, they're not my dogs. But anyways, um, <clears throat> so I'm here with you today to talk a little about uh, stenciling and stencil girl stencils. So the one I'm using today is called, um, excuse for that. It's called Whimsy Script, and it's by Joanna Sharp. So you can see that it's already, Joanne, excuse me, Joanne Sharp. So you can see that I've already used it. It's got a bunch of spray on it. Uh, I very rarely clean my stencils. Most time I use it, I just stick it in there somewhere. So prior to starting, I put a little bit of uh, cream paint. This is just craft paint on my palette. Um, but I've already started out, this is my magazine art journal, but I've started with this background uh, already. There's a little bit of tape, brown paint, I don't know if that's a random tree, uh, whatnot. But I like to create backgrounds, and uh, sometimes you wonder, okay, here I got this, now what do I do? <clears throat> so what I'm going to show you is using a, a stencil to complete that page and make it look a little bit more cohesive. So what I'm going to do, which is a little bit different than what you see um, a lot of people do, is put the stencil down. And uh, this is a Derwent sprayer, by the way, and I'm just going to spray water on it, uh, on the stencil, before I use the paint. So I spray it on there. I take the, I'm going to take the cream paint here, and I'm going to be a, a little heavy-handed. So I don't suggest putting water on a stencil prior to stenciling it, because what's going to happen is that the paint is going to seep underneath. However, in this case, that is exactly um, the look that I'm going for. You know, I really believe in making messes on purpose so that, you know, if you make a mistake, it doesn't look too bad. So I'm just going to peek underneath. Hot mess. Okay, perfect. So you see there, can't really see the alphabets, but I'm going to move it over here onto a different... Uh, side here and I'm just going to press it. Sorry about that. I'm just going to press it. I'm going to take a peek and that's what I want. Just a little bit of something. So there's still paint on that side. I, don't know, it's hard, I know it's hard to see because I have a bunch of other stuff. So I just want to quickly, this is the back side of the stencil or the opposite side of the stencil. I'm going to do it a little bit more spray of water and then we're going to put it down in the third in the third position. And again, I'm just going to press down. So what I'm wanting to do is get the, I wouldn't say negative, I always get that confused, negative, positive, uh, whatnot. But I, I want to get um, the outline of the, the stencil. So in that case, I probably didn't put enough paint on there, but you can see a little bit of the texture and uh, up here. So you know, I, I say to myself, well, it didn't really come out. Can't really see too much. That's why this technique, or any technique, is takes a little bit of practice. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of more cream paint, and this time I'm going to dab it straight on, just like you normally would. And, and in this case, another technique I talked about on the Stencil Girl Talk blog, um, today is my day to show a tutorial. But when you work with a stencil that already has some type of ink on it, usually what happens is that the ink will transfer onto the, excuse my arm there, from the stencil onto your project. So also you see that I focus on odd numbers. So right now I'm, I'm stenciling and uh, I'm trying to do it in three different, excuse me, in odd numbers. So Technically, this one is the fifth, the fifth time. Take a little bit less of uh, paint here. So remember, if you're going to be stenciling like this, and you just want a clean image, you don't want to use a lot of water. So I still have paint on the back of that stencil um, right now, but I'm mostly using it for texture. So it's just showing a. Um, if you look down here, just an outline. But again, I want to be messy. Absolutely, you can um, just stencil it through and uh, just dab it through and not have the water. But I actually like the way that looks. And if you look at the Stencil Girl 
blog, excuse my legs, um, you'll see that where I've used that same technique, and it comes out a little bit more precise. So I'm using a piece of tin foil to close those pages just to um, just to protect the paint so it doesn't stick together. So for example, if I wasn't on camera, that was the look I was going for. But you know how these one-take wonders, how they work. So this is a page from the blog hop, excuse me, not blog hop, from my tutorial with stencilgirltalk.com. All right, so I love how that looks. So this is the first image where you see a little bit underneath, another image, and then the third one whoop, down there. Love how that looks. Another alternative, um, rather than spraying with water like I did, is wet your sponge first um, before you do that. All right, so I have another page marked here that we're going to talk a little bit about. I did have another page marked. Oh, yes, this one. There's the piece. So, again, this is my magazine art journal. I've worked um, kind of randomly in this. You'll see that there's actually, in this, this uh, particular section, I used the images that were on the, the magazine art page as a starting point. She happens to be painting, which is nice. All right, so I got all this stuff, and sometimes the simplest and easiest way to use a stencil is to put it down where you want it, Take some spray right now. I'm using some Lindy Stamp Gang um, Starburst Stain, Starburst Spray, excuse me, and Voodoo Violet Blue. So I'm just going to put it again. I want to hang it off the edge. I don't know if you can see that. But the stencil is hanging off the side. Uh oh, dog's barking. I apologize. Okay. So I'm going to spray through the stencil. So that was about six inches high. I'm going to try for eight over on this side and try not to get too much ink on the deck here. And the more the more you spray it when you know you're you got to be careful because there is a ton of ink on here right now. See all that ink moving around? So sometimes if you're when you are spraying more than once, that uh, could affect your project, could affect the stencil, the ink from bleeding under the stencil. So I did it three times, and again, making sure that some of it are hanging off the page. The lighting's kind of funny. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. So again, on the in my blog post, I talk about what happens if there's too much ink, because I only sprayed it about six inches away, where, you know, maybe you should spray it eight to ten. So I don't know if you can see that, but I'm purposely making it drip going downwards, because... If it's messy already, in my opinion, when you make something uh, messy from the start, then uh, then it looks like it was done on purpose. So if it wants to drip, I let it drip, and you can give it a little uh, little blow to help it to help it drip down. But that's very hard to see. So let's try to spray a different. Whoa, cupcakes! Who doesn't like? Cupcakes. This is a <laughs> this is an image um, from a magazine that I uh, cut out and glued down. So again, I have a background, a random background with no other images on it, and of course, I put my stencil in here somewhere. All right. All right. So I have the stencil, and again, I'm gonna start here, and uh, I'm gonna spray. Again, about six inches high. Try not to spray yourself, or maybe maybe you want to spray yourself. <laughs> but you always have a little bit of inky fingers. All right. So again, now you can see how nice that's going to look. You know, I, I there's so many stencil designs out there. Um, and Stencil Girl has some amazing ones. Mary Beth Shaw is absolutely amazing. Um, try to pick ones, you know, well, I want them all, but try to pick ones that maybe um, speak to you by motif, you know, by um, something that can be used in multiple ways. So you, you look at this uh, particular stencil, which is a script, whimsy script it's called, and you think, what am I going to do with an alphabet? You know, in maybe some people's minds, you think I'm going to stencil out one little piece, one little, each little letter and create a word, which you absolutely can do. That's a great idea. 
but I like to use it as a background um, image that's going to tie things uh, tie things together. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back here in a little bit and talk a little bit about magazine art journals. So have fun with your stencils. Don't worry about this whole video is about not being perfect and not worrying that you need your images to come out being perfect. So there's still a little bit. I'm going to let that drip too. I'll try not to get it on the deck. <laughs> All right, my friends. Thank you so much for supporting me. I know I had a long time off. Uh, things are things are almost back to normal. Um, obviously, not my my studio is not done yet because I'm doing a video outside. But uh, anyways, check out Stencil Girl Talk. Um, dot com and uh, see all the wonderful things going on there tomorrow is Friday we're gonna have a blog hop with all the um, creative team which I'm so excited about oh I'm also doing another video but maybe I'll do a sneak little sneak peek sneak all right that was quick so anyways I got a whole book here and that's what we're going to uh, do tomorrow on the blog hop anyways guys thank you so much much love